if you're feeling like you are stuck on the paycheck to paycheck living, believe me, you're not alone. You know, that feeling that you're always waiting for payday to come around, it's actually more normal than you'd think. But today I want to help you change all that and break free from this cycle that seems to never end. Hi, welcome or welcome back to the Money, Wine and Cheese Club TV. My name is Sarah and as always I'm here to talk about all things money. And if you like this kind of content, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because it really helps the channel become more visible. Now let's get into it. Step number one is all about awareness, knowing your numbers. And I know this might feel intimidating, but again, knowledge is power. Once you know exactly what your situation is, if you have debt or not, how much you have in savings, your living expenses, how much is going into wants, all of this is going to inform you on how to better create a plan for your money. So write down everything, how much you earn, how much you're spending, where is it going, your wants, your needs. I have a video about creating a plan for your money and I'll leave it linked below. So this is the first step, no matter where you are. This is the first step because it's the step that's going to inform you on how to move forward. I guarantee this step is key. It's a must. Now that you know your numbers, it's time to create that plan for your money or that budget. So you don't need to complicate this step. You can create something as simple as a 60, 30, 10, and I have a video on this, so I'll leave it linked as well. It's very easy, there's really nothing to it. 60% is your living expenses, 30% is for your wants, and 10% is for your savings and paying off debt. Step number three, we are going to track. Yes, we're going to track our money. How much is coming in, really coming in? Because we might have an idea, you might have written an idea for step number one, but how much is it really coming in? And better yet, how much is, it, is going out and where? So you have to really be careful. You know you've, you've done your homework, so now you are going to see if you can afford to live the life you are living. This is not about depriving yourself. This is about creating a carefree life. This is about creating your best life and not be stressed out. Because what is more important? To spend that money on a dress or to wear the clothes you already have and not be stressed about that dress that finally, you, when you get it home, it's probably not as appealing as it was in the store. Am I right or am I right? 60% and then take a look. Is 60% enough for your living expenses? If it's not, you need to get them down because usually 50% would be an ideal amount for your living expenses. This is where you are going to really see where it's going. And if there's anything, you know, like red flags, if there's any amounts that are really, really over the top. Okay, step number four. This is one of my favorites. Yes, creating an emergency fund. And no, we are not thinking about catastrophes. We are simply building a little bit of a stack of money so that if anything happens, we're prepared. And it's not a problem, it's an inconvenience. It's not that we're expecting things to happen. Things will happen because that's life. But we'll be prepared. And, you know, right now if you have one, awesome. If you don't, start building one. And you can start with as little as 10 bucks a week or every paycheck or you can start with a hundred, whatever you're comfortable with. And if at the moment all you can do is have $500 on the side for this emergency fund, awesome. And if you can only have 250, so be it. But start building it. Be intentional in putting money that you don't need towards your emergency fund. This is really, really important because this is going to be the thing that's going to keep you 
from getting into more debt or getting into debt or reaching for a credit card with absurd interest rates this is what's going to keep you going without stressing out and for step number five is paying off debt now if you have any kind of debt this is where you're going to look at it write it out one credit card or two credit cards or one personal loan or a car loan if that's your case list them out start with the smallest and go down until the the highest in amount not interest rate this is the debt snowball it's like the best one i think there is out there so that's the one i really you know go to and the one i i always tell everyone to do because it gives you the feeling that you are really moving on because when you start with the smallest debt you usually pay it really really quick and that gives you a boost you know in your confidence and you say hey i can do this so you keep going it's really you know you see the rewards um very quickly and when we are paying off debt you know paying a credit card that you can't even remember where you use the money you know it's hard and we have to take all the small wins that we can now this is also the step that is going to inform you if you can afford to live on a 60 30 10 budget so 60 percent for your living expenses 30 percent for your wants and 10 percent for your savings and paying off debt now depending on the amount of debt you have you might have to bump that up to let's say 20 percent so you'll have to go and revise your budget and see where you can get it from either your living expenses and your wants maybe just from your wants you know if you you know if you can spend 50 percent and 20 percent on your wants and then 20 percent for your uh, debt repayment that would be awesome but it's up to you this is really what's going to inform you how to move forward now remember breaking the paycheck to paycheck cycle does not happen overnight you need to work at it you know like you have to really be intentional about it you really have to want it you really need to be intentional in, with your actions to make progress and these are the steps that are going to take you to that financial freedom to that peace of mind if you found this information helpful please again like the video subscribe to the channel so that you'll get more tips on how to organize your money thank you so much for being here and i'll see you in the next video bye <music>